Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video we are going to discuss the revised syllabus 2022 of class 9 political science. And we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter our constitution. So this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you want all the other history lessons notes of class 9, Revised syllabus, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link wherein you will find all the videos. You will also find the link in the i button above. Let's move ahead but before that if you are new to my channel and watching the video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Let's move ahead with first main, fill in the blank with suitable words. First fill up. The law which governs the state is dash. Answer is constitution. Next. The meeting of new constituent assembly was held on dash. Answer is 9th December 1946. Next. The chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution was dash. Answer is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Next, our constitution provides for a dash system of government. Answer is parliamentary. Next, the state where the people enjoy sovereign power is called dash. Answer is democratic republic. Next, our constitution provides for dash citizenship to its citizens. Answer is single. Next, the right for constitutional remedies has been incorporated in article dash. Answer is 32. Next, the directive principles of state policy are borrowed from dash constitution. Answer is Irish, Irish constitution. With this we finish first main law and let see the next question and answers that is second main answer the following questions first question is who was the president of the constituent assembly answer dr rajendra prasad was the president of the new constituent assembly next question when did the constitution come into force answer the indian constitution came into force on 26 January 1950. Every year we celebrate this date as Republic Day. Next question. What does the preamble to the Constitution contain? Answer. The preamble to the Constitution contains the fundamental policies and ideals of the Constitution. It is based on the aspiration and the ideals of the people of India. Next question. What do you mean by secularism? Answer. Secularism means no religion has been given the status of national religion. Citizens have the liberty to practice any religion they desire. Next question. Explain the salient features of our constitution answer the salient features of our constitution are written and lengthy constitution flexible as well as the rigid constitution parliamentary form of government republican system fundamental rights and fundamental duties directive principles of state policy Independent and centralized judiciary, single citizenship, adult franchise, bicameral party system. So these are the features of our constitution. Next, which are the fundamental rights incorporated in our constitution? Answer, the fundamental rights incorporated in our constitution are right to equality, right to liberty, 
right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational right, right to constitutional remedies. So these are the fundamental rights which is incorporated in our constitution. Next question. Make a list of the fundamental duties. There are 11 fundamental duties. They are to respect the constitution, national flag and national anthem. To follow the noble ideals that inspired our national struggle for freedom. To protect the integrity of India. To defend the motherland when called upon to do so. To promote and improve the natural environment. To promote the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India. To preserve our rich heritage. To develop the scientific temper and the spirit of inquiry. To safeguard public property and obtain from violence. Strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activities. The parents or guardians should provide an opportunity for education to their children from age 6 to 18 years. So these are the list of fundamental duties. Now next question. Which are the directive principles of state policy? The directive principles of state policy are to provide adequate means of livelihood to all the citizens, to prevent the community's wealth and resources from becoming the private property of a few people, to provide equal pay for equal work to both men and women and to protect labor welfare, to provide public assistance to those who are old, sick, weak or helpless, to implement a uniform civil code throughout the country, to provide opportunities for healthy development and preschool education of all children below six years, to protect historical monuments and maintain places of historical interest to separate the executive and the judiciary to protect international peace and respect international law to establish grammar panchayats to encourage rural and cottage industries to organize and develop agriculture and animal husbandry on modern lines to ensure the prohibition of liquor, to ensure the development of farming based on scientific methods. So these were some of the directive principles of state policy. Depending upon the marks, you can write the number of points and as you remember it. And now with this question and answers, you come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope these answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video helpful and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.